Hello everyone. Welcome back to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to set up Azure VM to host a Laravel application. What is Laravel? Laravel is a PHP web framework that simplifies web application development with its expressive syntax and rich feature set. It follows the model view controller, MVC, architectural pattern and provides tools for database management, authentication, and routing. Laravel's popularity stems from its ease of use and ability to create scalable, secure, and maintainable web applications efficiently. Prerequisites Azure Account with Global Administrator or VM Full Access Basic Understanding of Azure and Mobexterm Tool what is covered in this video? We will be creating a virtual machine in Azure, installing Apache web server, installing PHP and PHP modules, installing Composer, creating fresh Laravel app, configuring Apache Boast file, verify the process, open Azure console, and then click Virtual Machines. Now click Create and select Azure Virtual Machines. Here, you have the option to select your subscription. Below that, you can create a new resource group. I'm naming it Easy Deploy and click OK. Here, enter the name for the virtual machine. I'm naming it Laravel app. And then I'm leaving the image as the default Ubuntu image and scroll down. Here, you can see that the username is Azure user and a new key pair will be created with this name. And select the inbound rule. Port 22 is already enabled. Now, I'm enabling port 80 for our web app. Now click Review and Create. Our validation has passed, and here you can review your selected configurations, and then click Create. Click Download Private Key and Create Resource. Wait for some time. Our deployment is in progress, so let's wait until it creates the resources. Now our deployment has been completed and click go to resource. Here's our newly created virtual machine. Now, let's copy the public IP address and then open our Mobaxterm tool and click Session. Now select SSH and paste the public IP here and then enter the username Azure user. And select our private key and then click OK. Now we have successfully connected to our virtual machine. Let's open Notepad where I have saved my commands. Copy the first command, which is used to update apt repository, and paste it here. Oh, we got permission error, so use sudo su to become root user. Now run the command again. Our repository has been updated. Let's go back to the notepad and copy the next command and paste it here, which is used to install Apache Web Server.
Now, Apache has been installed. Let's return to the notepad. Don't worry about the commands. All of them will be shared in the description below. You can use them and copy the next command and paste it here, which is used to install PHP and required PHP modules. We have installed PHP and then go back to the notepad. Copy the next command, which is used to install Composer, and then paste it here. Again, go to notepad and copy the next command and paste it here to get into default Apache directory. And go back to notepad and copy the next command and paste it here to create new Laravel application. And then you can give any name to your app. I'm naming it my app. And then type yes to confirm. Now we have successfully created our Laravel application. And the next command is cd, your app name, to get into or app directory and use ls-la to view files, and here see all the files are owned by root, and copy the next command to change to file ownership to Apache user. And then paste it here. Now again, check the file ownership using ls-la. See here the ownership changed to Apache user, but the dot files are still owned by root. To change that, copy the next command and paste it here. Now, Let's check the file ownership again using ls-la. Yes, now all files are owned by the Apache user. Now go back to the notepad and copy next command to get into Apache configuration directory and paste it here. Now go back to the notepad and copy the next command which is used to create new Apache configuration file in the name of laravel.conf. Before that, use ls to check. Is there any existing files? Yes, we have default configuration file. Now paste the command. Now, again, go to the notepad and copy the file content and paste it here. Here I'm using port 80 for my application and the below you can set your domain name if you have any, then replace your app directory name here. In my case, it's my app. Also replace the project directory here. Now save and quit the file and go back to the notepad and copy the next command, which is used to disable default Apache configuration file. Here you can see that default file. Now paste the command. Yes, we have disabled default file and copy the next command to enable our new Apache configuration file and paste it here. We have enabled our configuration file. Now go back to the notepad and copy the next command and paste it here, which is used to restart our Apache web server. Then go to Azure console and copy the public IP and paste it in new tab. Yes. We have successfully set up our Laravel application on the Azure VM. What we learned from this video. In this video, we covered the process of creating and configuring an Azure VM, installing necessary dependencies, such as Apache and PHP, and deploying a Laravel application. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, viewers gain the knowledge and confidence to deploy their Laravel applications on Azure VMs effectively. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices. Thank you for watching.